Oh, my back. Hi, you welcome to Sass TV. My name is Bowen Bass, and this is your two-month reading. And I want to first say thank you for joining me. And if you had a chance to come out and check us out, we had a wonderful time this weekend. That's just something I do in my free time because i got a lot of work coming up for y'all. I have a lot of learning stuff coming up for you. Now, the master class, I don't know, things have interceded at this point. I have, I have to do something for somebody else, too. So, um, it may be a two-day event. It may be a two-day event. And and, and, and and I want you, this is your two-month, man. I'm tired as hell. Here you go. This is your reading. And I hope you can hear me. This is what's going on. Oh man, girl, you have been through a lot. Now you are in a pl you are in a position. You're in a waiting position. And when cards talk about you being in a waiting position, you are you're coming from a learning curve. I feel like you've had a lot of heightness. Things have slowed down. It's sort of like chocolate in the milk bottle. You understand what I'm saying? So this was just going on for you. I want you to listen, okay? New things are coming in for you. You need to settle. You need to settle so you can see things that are going on, okay? So, there's something that came in. On, this this is this is talking about out because I'm sorry, ma'am. I tried to hit July. It says your July is going to end with some type of loss. And when it talks about loss, it talks about things that aren't needed in your life anymore and things that you're going to have to move past. So, whatever went on from July backwards is dead. Just say, just know that. Just know that you're going to be going to new beginnings. And that's when a smile on your guards come across. It's like, thank I am over with uh, July. Thank God I'm over with June, May. Those months are over. Now there's a smile on your cards. And when it talks about a smile being on your cards, it talks about repositioning. Actually, like, you know, at the same time, sitting up and standing up, being joyous and being defeated at the same time. So there's going to be some new decisions that's going to be coming in. Now, love has been a wonder for you. Some of those things that were lying dormant, like love life. Like, who loves me? What do I love to do? Where am I going? That's what's going to be coming up the first week in August for you. Okay, so transition from this week, the 30th, into the 5th. And then when you hit the 6th, you go into the smile phase. Phase, and that's what you're going to see things pop up that you forgot about, like your love life. Okay? And when it talks about love life in your cards, it talks about spiritualism. It talks about upbringing. It talks about vision. It talks about responsibility. And it talks about changes. So let me go ahead and break, break that down for you. You need more money. You need more loving people around you. And you need change. You need change and transition. You need to always see things. Uh, you need to always see things as though they're climbing for you. If not, you just you just have a short attention span. So by the second week, your mind is going to be all over the place. So there, if there are any changes in income, it's because you've implemented those new changes because they're on your mind. So that's what's going to be coming up for the better. Anything with money and income is going to be at peace for you. I Meaning it's going to be what it is and anything that comes in, you'll have to bring it in or go look out for more work opportunities to bring it in. Doesn't look bad. Just it's like you just need to save just a little bit more because I see you're tired. You're real tired. So um, there's going to be some changes in new developments in, 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 in your thinking processes too. Everything is being redeveloped. But new energies is coming your way. So look out for that around the 14th. Also, I see where you're laying down. Yeah, you're very tired. You're very tired. Any invitations that you have in the month of August and you feel as though 
you know it's not that you don't like the people it's not that you don't want to go around the people because it's going to be a real short month for you you know that you're going to be wrapping things up quick things are going to be wrapped quick but it's not going to seem like it because you're going to be so tired you're going to feel like you're going to be behind no get your rest you won't be able to go out and have a good time because you're too tired and there's nothing wrong with that go ahead and get your rest in the month of august so let's go ahead and review the first two weeks really is about cleaning up the old stuff because remember we said july is over so we're going to see it in a new eye but we're also going to sit in the old eye too okay changes 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 for you I just keep looking at your money cards, and it's like you're not looking at it in the right eye. So there needs to be some saving going on. Any invitations? Anything that has to do with having a good time outside of your 9 to 5, take your break and rest. Sleep. Rest. Because it can cause some confusion for you. Because the last couple of weeks of the month, you'll need to focus on these love relationships, mama. The love relationships that you have around you is a lot of reason why there is stress. There's one partner that is around you that 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 he just wants to just he trips me out because he always want to double up, double up, double up, double up. Some things are not enough for him. He's very greedy, and he's very pushy. But then you have another one that stands right in front of him. And the reason the other man is standing in front of the greedy man is because the greedy one about to go. Do not be in any committed relationship at this time. Because I just see you being so tired and almost out of it. That's what's coming up for you. So tired and out of it. Now this other guy, he's a family person. He's someone that um, he, he he likes to be in a team. Like I say, listen, he likes to be in a team. Don't commit. No commitment. Everything is going to be up in the air in August. It's just getting you back. It's almost like you was all over the place. And that everything you kind of didn't make a decision on is going to be standing in your face. Or it's going to come on your mind. And you're just going to be sitting back on it. And it's okay. And the reason in August you're going to be sitting back on it. Because you're tired. You're not overworked. You're just tired. And that is wrong with that. The best thing coming out your cards is at the end of the month when there's new responsibility coming up around the 15th and around the 18th. And then the end of the month, there's something new coming in because those new energies that came in at the beginning of the month are going to really shine through. It's just talking about you being protected and whatever decisions you need to make, you don't have to make them. But don't commit to anything. And when it comes down to your love life. Because you don't want to be stuck with a situation, with a, with a new spirit, with a new era, with a, with a new way. You're not going to be looking at anything new. This is the month where the development happens. And you're going to see thoughts coming up. You're going to see things coming up that you just don't want to deal with and you don't have to. Because when those dates come in, those decisions are just going to be so easy to make because you've rested. And it's like you've stepped into a new shoe, okay? New responsibilities is coming in in September before then you there's a lot of deciding factors, but it's okay as long as you acknowledge them, then all you have to do is just rest because a decision making uh, come up before September. This is a great month for business for you too, but exactly for rest, exactly for rest, nothing that you need to do bad, nothing's bad, nothing's negative. Coming up, you just need to stay in this piece. Um, next is your September. One moment while I get your cards. One moment. Okay. Here we go. And this is what's going on for the following energy month. This is what's going on for the following month for you. 
Okay? I feel like uh, you're going to be worried about that relationship. Now, remember I told you, that's why I told you in the following month, do not, uh, do not, uh, do not to make, don't commit to anything. Because remember the one I told you, not the greedy one, but the other one. Well, he's going to be leaving too. The other one's going to fade back, but the, the, this one's going to leave too. And it's good that he did. And it's almost like you're saying, I don't want him to get away. He got to go. Because you have new things coming in. September is your month for kickoff.